right, welcome, and thanks again for being here. So we're starting this evening lying down the back in reclined bound angle pose. Bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees fall open out to the sides. And just take a moment to let yourself settle in this shape. Just feeling the connection of your sacrum against the floor. Try and feel even contact through the right and left sides of the pelvis. And start to allow the inner thighs to lengthen as the hips open. And try and relax all the muscles in your legs. This is not a pose of doing, but rather a passive posture where we let gravity and time help to open up this shape. You can let your arms be wherever is comfortable for you right now. And I just want to apologize in advance. My voice might sound a little bit different than usual or weaker. I'm getting old, over a nasty cold that I had this weekend, so I might not talk quite as much. But if you hear me coughing or clearing my throat, just working through it. <clears throat> so as we come into this evening practice with the goal of relaxing the body and calming the mind so we can get a good night's sleep, so we can recharge for the next day, Take a moment to acknowledge how you're feeling physically. Taking in what you've experienced today and noticing how that is manifesting in your body. And how that's showing up in your energy level right now. how it's contributing to your mental state. Start to bring your focus to the soft sound of your own breath. Noticing the speed and the texture of the air. tracks with each breath cycle. to breathe more deeply and slowly than your natural breath. Inviting the breath in and guiding the breath out. feel ready to release this posture, you can bring your hands outside of your knees or thighs and gently help bring the legs back together. And plant your feet hip width apart. And you can feel free to open your eyes if you like or keep them closed. We're going to be on the back for a few more minutes. 
And just take a moment to notice how your hips feel. And then go ahead and slide your left leg down on the mat and bring your right knee into your upper body, just gently hugging it close to you. And then keeping the knee bent, you can let go of it and just start to take some circles with that knee, moving the thigh bone around in the hip socket, finding a nice fluid motion here. Maybe noticing any sounds or cracks along the way. And then changing the direction of the movement. Cross this knee over and down for a reclined spinal twist. Just starting out with releasing the lower back tonight. And if it feels good, you can move that bottom hip over to the right side of the mat as well, giving yourself a little more mobility in the lumbar. Let the right arm be open and feel a little sense of trying to back bend in the upper back. So heart lifting upward toward the ceiling. The shoulder moving down toward the floor. I'm going to take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, unwind. Good, bend both knees, plant the feet to adjust your hips to center. And then slide the right leg down and bring the left knee in. You can hold for a few breaths. And then let go of the leg, but keep it bent as you take those circles. I'm going to adjust my laptop camera. I think it's a little too high. I just noticed that. All right. Here we go. Change direction of those circles. back to the center, cross the left knee over and down for the twist. You can adjust your bottom hip over to the left side as that left arm floats out as well. You can feel that little hint of back bending in the upper part of your spine, heart lifting as the shoulder descends. your hips to center and let's keep the knees bent cross your right ankle to the center of your left thigh for reclined pigeon you can gently press that knee away from your face and then if you want a little more intensity bring the legs in reach through the space and hold on to the back of your left thigh try and keep your shoulders and your neck relaxed if you're holding the leg and gently rock back and forth if that feels good just getting deeper into the glutes and piriformis here if you took it, but keep your ankle crossed. So we're still with the right ankle crossed. Continue to slide the leg over so now you're crossing tightly at the thighs. So now your right thigh is tightly crossed over your leg, your left thigh. Bring the legs in again, and now you're going to reach forward and lift up to take the heels with your palms. We're coming into reclined cow facing pose. Gently lie back down, and as you do, gently bring the heels closer to your upper body. So it's spreading the feet apart from each other. You should feel a deeper stretch in the right glute and hip. To intensify that, you could press the feet more strongly against the grip of your hands and lift them higher in the air. To decrease the intensity, you could lower the feet and thereby bend your knees more deeply. Uncross the thighs and take the feet on the floor. 
Before we do that for the second side, let's just lay the arms down alongside the body and roll the hips and spine up into a low bridge just to lengthen the hip flexors. It's a long time to have the legs bent and the hip flexors contracted. So just take a few breaths here, not for a big back bend, but just to lengthen the front of the thighs. Most of your upper back and shoulders are firmly connected to the floor. Good, go ahead and roll the hips back down to the mat. And now let's cross the left ankle to the center of the right thigh, coming into that reclined pigeon shape. And if you'd like, you can bring the legs in, reach through the space and hold on to the back of the right thigh. Shoulders and neck are relaxed, maybe some gentle rocking. Continue to cross this left leg over so you're crossing tightly at the thighs. And then bring the knees back in toward your chest. Reach the hands forward and lift up so that you can take the heels into your hands and then gently lie back down as you guide the heels closer to your face in the process. Again, less intensity by dropping the heels lower, more intensity by pushing them against the hands and lifting them higher. You should feel this deep in your right hip and glute. Good, all right, go ahead and lower the feet, let go of them, uncross the thighs and take the feet to the floor. And again, let's lay the arms down alongside the body, press through the heels and roll up just into a low bridge, enough to lengthen your hip flexors and your quads. Take a few breaths there. strap in your right hand only. Keep that grip nice and strong as you open the leg out to the side, anchoring your left leg firmly to the mat and engaging your core to anchor your upper body. Take several breaths in your maximum hip opening. Bring that leg back up to the center. 
bend the knee down toward you and release the strap. Good. Let that right leg come down. Make any adjustments you need to feel well aligned here. And then we'll switch. Bring the left knee in. Activate the right leg on the mat. And lift up to place the strap around the foot. Lying down once you have that. Good. Finding that nice straight leg. Feeling the femur bone root down into the hip socket. You'll also feel like it's pressing forward, like it's coming right out through the thigh. Both of those energies are going to help extend the knee here. I take the strap in the left hand only, and when you're ready, open that leg slowly out to the side. Good, feel your abdominals take over here to anchor your upper body and keep that right leg glued to the mat. When you're ready, exhale, bring the leg back up, change hands, and cross the leg over the pelvis. And then come on back up to the center. Good, bend the knee and remove the strap. You can set that aside as you release your left leg. You can shake out the legs a little bit, wiggle the ankles and knees, just release some of the intensity from your thighs. Good, and then go ahead and bend your knees. You can roll over to one side and press up from there, or you can rock along your spine, however you'd like to get up off your back. And let's come into table pose. So find that alignment, shoulders over palms, hips over knees. We'll take some spinal waves. Inhaling to begin, lifting the tail, chest and chin. Exhaling to tuck and round. And continue on at the speed of your own breath. One more in each direction. And after the exhalation, then you can come back to a neutral table pose. <clears throat> Let's keep the hips in line over the knees. Extend your arms forward and press your chest toward the floor for half down dog. Spread the fingers widely. Feel active energy in the arms like you would in the full pose. And let your shoulders and spine extend. Good. From here, come on back up into table. And let's take threading the needle. On an inhalation, raise your right arm up and open to that side. Exhale, sweep it under you, bringing the shoulder and the side of the head down. Move your left hand over and push the mat to lean back so that you feel the right shoulder blade spread away from the spine. And a little bit of twist into the upper back. Good, you can stay here. You can raise the left arm up or take any other variations of this pose that you enjoy.
Good, if your left arm is raised, let's release the hand back to the mat, press against it and come off of the right shoulder, raise that right arm up again and take a deep breath in. Exhale the hand back to table. Other side, raise your left arm as you inhale and open. Exhale, sweep it underneath you. Shoulder and the side of the head come down. Then move your right hand over and push the ground, leading back. Feel that the shoulder blades spread away from the spine as you twist. Good. You can raise the right arm or take any other variations. Holding here for a few more breaths. Good. Go ahead and release that hand back to the mat. Push the floor and come off of the shoulder, raising the left arm up again, and then take the hand back to the mat. Good. Walk your hands forward a little bit, spread the fingers widely, and come back into your full downward facing dog now. Lifting the hips up and back as you press firmly against the palms and let your head drop. Good. From here, let's look forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step up to your hands. Once you get there, take the hands to your shins. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Let's open the arms as you inhale and rise all the way up. Exhale, and release your arms to your side, standing tall in mountain pose. Good, so let's take a side bend here to start a sun salutation or kind of flow like sequence. So tuck your tailbone down toward your heels. Let's keep the right arm to the side. Inhale, raise the left arm high. Exhale and lean over to the right in the upper body as you send your hips to the left, keeping the legs strong and active. Breathe deeply here. Let the inhalations open you more on the left side. And let the exhalations contract you more on the right side. On your next breath in, stand tall and reach up for both arms. Exhale, the left arm to your side and lean the upper body left as you send the hips right. Keep the tailbone drawing down. Feel that same energy in your body now with your breath. Expanding right side and contracting left side. Good, let's inhale, straighten the body, reach up through both arms. Exhale, dive forward, forward bend. Hands to shins, inhale, flat back. Bend your knees deeply and exhale the right foot to the back of the mat and place the knee down. Low lunge. Let's point the back toes so you can press the top of the foot and ankle against the mat. Then inhale, rise up to a low crescent lunge. And just take a few breaths here. Feel your hips descend as your ribcage lifts. Good. On your next breath out, take the hands to the floor. Inhale and raise your back knee high. Exhale, step to downward facing dog. Good. From here, inhale and shift forward into plank pose. Exhale, lower your body to the floor. Point your toes and inhale, come into cobra. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, press back up to the knees. Exhale, hips to heels, and then up again for down dog. And this time to hold. On your next breath in, raise your right leg up. Exhale, step that foot in between the hands and put the back knee down. 
can point those toes and inhale, rise up, low crescent lunge. Take a few breaths here. On your next breath out, release the hands, tuck the toes and lift the back knee high, inhale. Shift your weight into that back foot and exhale, step it forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reaching overhead. Exhale, right into your next fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees, step the left foot back and place the knee down, pointing the toes. Inhale, rise up, low crescent lunge, breathing deeply here. On your next breath out, release the hands down. Inhale and pick the back knee up. Exhale, step directly to down dog. And from here, inhale, shift forward into plank pose. Exhale, slowly lower to the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, push up. Exhale, hips back and lift. Down dog, this time to hold. From here, raise your left leg up, inhale, exhale, step that foot in between the hands, back knee down, inhale, rise up, low crescent lunge, taking a few breaths here. And exhale, hands down, inhale, pick the back knee up. Exhale, shift weight into that foot and step forward, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward, fold. Open the arms. Inhale and rise up. Exhale, mountain pose. Good. Take a few breaths here. You can close your eyes if you like. Just feel nice, tall, active energy through the spine. Ground down through your feet. And we'll take one more little flow cycle. We're going to modify that basic sequence. We're going to start the same way with the side bend, and then when we come out of it, we're going to come into chair pose before we fold forward. All right, so standing tall with the tailbone tucking down slightly. Let's keep the right arm down and raise the left arm high. Then exhale, lean over to the right. Keep the legs nice and toned as you send the hips to the left. On your next breath in, straighten the body and reach up through both arms. Exhale, left arm down as you lean your upper body left and send the hips right. The next time you inhale, raise both arms, standing tall. And then exhale, bend the knees, find chair pose. Send your hip joints back in space. Root down through your heels as you extend through the arms. Good. From this chair pose, sweep your hands behind your back and interlace the fingers. Gently roll the shoulders back and open your chest as you reach the fist back away from your shoulders, gently straightening the arms. Good. From here, start to fold your upper body forward over your thighs. 
dropping your head. You're welcome to keep your knees generously bent or you can straighten them a little as we fold forward here with the arms lifting up and overhead. Let your head be heavy and the back of the neck nice and loose. Good. Stay in your forward fold, but just start to release your arms, separate the hands, and let them hang down. Good. From here, take the hands to your shins. Inhale, flat back position. Bend your knees and exhale. Step the right foot to the back of the mat and place the knee down. Low lunge. Good. Let's inhale and rise up to that low crescent lunge. Then exhale the right hand down for your twist. Press strong against the mat as you keep reaching the left hand up toward the ceiling, rotating from your waist as you revolve the left ribs and chest back. The next time you exhale, take the left hand back to the floor. And now we're going to raise the other arm. Lean back to your left side and raise the right arm up toward the ceiling. Try and keep connection between your left knee and your left inner bicep. And one more breath in. Exhale and release the right hand back to the mat. Good. Inhale, pick your back knee up high. Exhale, step into the downward facing dog. Good. From this down dog, inhale, shift forward into plank. Exhale and lower to the floor. So we're going to modify here too. Let's keep the forehead down, reach the arms alongside the body and squeeze the shoulder blades together. We're going to take locust pose here instead of cobra this round. Let's inhale and rise up, coming into locust, squeezing the legs together, squeezing the shoulder blades together as we breathe against the mat. Last breath in. Exhale, let it go. You can turn your head down to one side. Just pause here for a moment. Maybe windshield wiper with the legs if you like to release your low back. Good. All right, feet to the floor. If you did those windshield wipers, take your forehead down and your palms outside the chest where they go for cobra. Exhale and press up to your knees. Then send the hips to the heels and lift up to downward facing dog. From this down dog, raise your right leg up into the air and then we'll open the hip to the side and bend the knee. Passive quad stretch. Holding here for a few breaths in three legged dog. Good. From here, close the hip opening, straighten the leg, and then step that foot all the way up in between the hands, taking the back knee to the floor. Inhale and rise up, low crescent lunge. Exhale, release, hands to the floor. So inhale and pick up the back knee. And then before we step forward, hop your back foot just a few inches closer to the front of the mat and press your hips back, folding over the front leg for pyramid pose. Just gently trying to straighten the right leg, ground the back heel firmly to the mat. Good, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, bend your front knee and step forward. Take the hands to the shins. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open the arms. Come all the way up to stand. And then exhale, right back to the forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees deeply. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Take the knee to the floor. Inhale, rise up to low crescent lunge. 
Then exhale your left hand down, spinal twist. Press the mat strongly with that hand as you reach up with the right. Feeling the right rib cage and chest revolve back. One more breath in. Exhale the right hand to the floor outside of the foot. And then lean back to the right as you raise your left hand up. Try and connect your front knee to the inner right bicep. to release, lower down, turn your head to one side, take a few moments to relax here, maybe some windshield wipers with your feet if you like. Go ahead and release the legs, take the forehead to the mat and the hands where they would go for cobra, press the ground to push up to your knees. Send the hips to your heels, and then up again for downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. And then go ahead and raise your left leg up into the air. Open that hip and bend the knee. Holding here in this variation of three-legged dog. here, instead of standing, you can stop that sway, let, let go of your elbows, bend your knees deeply and just step one knee down and then the other, and then sit down into child's pose. Separate your knees a little wider apart, and then let your upper body come forward and move. Take a few moments here to let yourself settle in this shape. Notice how you're feeling in your body right now.
bend your knees and plant your feet hip width apart. We're going to take reverse tabletop pose in lieu of doing like a bridge or some other reclined back bend. So you're going to lean your hands behind you with your palms flat on the floor, fingers facing the back of your mat. And before we lift up, just want you to elevate your chest and squeeze your shoulder blades as closely together as you can, widening the collarbones. And then from here, press through your feet and your palms, lift your hips up into the air, creating that table shape here by bringing your pelvis up as high as your chest. Few deep breaths here. Good. And then exhale, take the hips back to the mat. Bring the soles of the feet together. Lean forward and grab your uh, ankles or the tops of your feet and maybe bring the heels a little closer. Let's take seated down angle. Inhale and sit nice and tall. Exhale, slowly fold forward toward your feet. And inhale and rise back up. Let's close the knees and plant the hip width apart. One more time with that reverse tabletop. Leave your hands behind you, the palms flat on the mat, fingers spreading widely. Before you lift your hips up, lift your chest, kind of arching the upper back already, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then press through your hands and feet and lift your hips up into the air. Try and get them as high as your chest as possible, creating this tabletop shape only with our upper body facing the ceiling. In front of the body, I should say. Your last deep breath in. Exhale and release. Good. Bring the soles of the feet together. Lean forward and take your ankles or the tops of the feet. Maybe a little adjustment. One more time with that seated down angle. Inhale and get as tall as you can. Exhale, gently fold forward. so it supports you without shoulder width apart and press the floor strongly to twist from your lower back up your spine. If you want to try a lower upper body position you can walk your hands forward and bring your forearms down onto the mat. onto your forearms here, come on back up to your hands for a moment, and then unwind the twist. Face forward and take both hands behind you, pick your knees up, and drop the knees down to the left side of the mat, still having that wide space in between the feet. Come off of your right hand and twist to the back, bring that hand down. Good, adjust your hand spacing so it's supportive. Push the mat to twist deeply, and for a kind of more restorative version, you could walk your hands forward a little bit and then bring the elbows down so that your 
Just letting your upper body weight hang on the forearms here. Gives us a slightly different feel to the twist. down to your forearms, come back up to your hands, and then go ahead and unwind the twists. All right, let's adjust the hips farther back and extend the legs out in front of you. And if you still have your strap nearby, then we'll use it as an assist for a seated forward fold. This is our last posture here. You can connect the strap around the balls of both of your feet. Good. With a tight grip on the strap, sit up tall, bring your body into an L shape. Feel your shoulders slide down your back. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, gently guide your upper body forward and down toward the legs. If you don't want this to be much of a hamstring stretch, you can bend your knees, focusing more on just the release in the back. And when you're ready to come out, slowly rise up. Good. All right, you get rid of the strap. And let's get comfortable on the back for Shavasana. If you want to use any props to support your body tonight or put on any extra layers of clothing to be more comfortable, go ahead and gather whatever you need. I can use a bolster for my legs tonight. Once you feel settled, go ahead and close your eyes. Just take a moment to let your body adjust to being fully reclined. And start to let go of any lingering active energy from the posture practice. Take one final deep, really purposeful breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Feel your lower jaw release and let the throat and tongue relax as you come back into the natural rhythm of your breath.
attention back to your breath. In your own time, begin to move a little bit in your body. Eventually bending your knees and turning over to one side. And just pausing here briefly to notice how you feel. And with as little effort as possible, make your way back to a comfortable seated posture, keeping your eyes still closed. yourself get taller as you invite some alert energy back into your body and take a few deep cleansing breaths here and we'll end by chanting om one time you can bring the palms together in front of your heart and take a deep breath in Oh. Exhale and gently bow your head, acknowledging yourself for making the time and space to practice this evening and expressing gratitude to your body. And thank you for being here. Have a great night's sleep. Hope to see you again on Thursday.